and we are at Xerox with Robbie Botos. Robbie, welcome to Rochester. Thank you. Thanks for having me. The CD, Place to Place, has been really popular with our listeners. People love Smedley's Attack, and they just can't get enough of that tune. Oh, thank you so much. That's uh, that's actually Smedley is Oscar Peterson's dog, and uh, that so- that tune talks about me going to the house first time, expecting Oscar to open the doors, but it was Smedley. So, <laughs> speaking of Robbie Botos, Robbie, talk about your journey originally from Hungary, correct? Yes. And, uh, how did you discover jazz, and when did you start playing? I grew up in a musical family, so I. I started playing piano when I was seven, but uh, I started playing drums when I was probably three or four. My my father is a drummer and my older brother is a drummer. My middle brother is a bass player and all my relatives are musicians. So it was all around us. You had no choice? No, <laughs> absolutely not. It's a, tra- it's a tradition, you know. So what were your earliest jazz influences? Well, one of the first things I heard was uh, Red Garland, playing with Miles Davis and Rod Midnight, that, that album. And also a lot of Oscar Peterson, uh, Horace Silver, with the R. Blakey Messengers. So my dad had a lot of good records at home. Yeah. He kept playing it for, for us, so it was really easy to get into it, you know. Probably that said, so that explains why you have such a strong left hand. It's... Uh... Here, and also the use of the block chords, because you don't hear that very often in jazz musicians anyway, especially pianists, current pianists, using lots of block chords. But you do use them a lot, and it sounds great when you do. Thank you very much. Well, you know, I'm just trying to check out a, a lot of different angles for jazz piano. So I have my months and years or weeks of checking out just one type of thing and trying to learn new things. So I, I did research on the block chords for sure, but never ends. That said, who have you been listening to these days? Uh, a lot of classical music, a lot of uh, Bach and Chopin, but uh, all kinds of stuff. And I'm trying to listen to more of uh, my roots, Hungarian gypsy music, and generally gypsy music, Romani music from all around the world. I'm trying to you know, go back as long as possible to see what my roots are. And again, at the same time, going into the jazz and and uh, try to follow back that as well to the roots. They probably will meet somewhere. <laughs> so what are your roots? Uh, originally from Hungary, but uh, I grew up in a Romani gypsy family. So uh, originally they say we came from India, yeah. northern India, but there's no 100% answer of where we're coming from. I see we're from the moon. Sure. <laughs> That's right. Speaking of Robbie Botos here, a member supported Jazz 90.1, and from the moon as well. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks. Robbie, again, we love the CD so much. Talk about doing this live, and who's playing with you tonight? I have Mark Castle on drums and Mike Downs, and I'm extremely happy to play with these great musicians. We all play together for other people's projects, and it's always a lot of fun, but it's it's especially fun when I can get them to play my music, you know. Talk about it. When you compose, do you hear the whole piece at once, or do you hear it bits and pieces, and then you get the guys together, and then you, you, you finish it out that way? Well, I you know, usually it just happens in my head for a while, but sometimes it could take years for one song. Sometimes it takes five minutes. Like I had, uh, there's one tune uh, on, on the record entitled Emmanuel, which is actually a dedication to Oscar Peterson. It's his middle name. And... and uh, that tune started, you know, I, I had a couple notes in my head, and then it took me like close to two years because I sat down and never really felt like I always wanted to write something, but it never really worked naturally. And then it just happened again, like there was a break, and then the other half of the song came. So, I, you know, you don't want to force it, but sometimes it takes you, you know, just minutes to write something. Oscar Peterson is often known as a very shy man. What was he really like as a person, and how did you get to meet him? Well, you know, I it's very hard for me to really get into that because, unfortunately, when I when I met him, he was already, you know, he wasn't well and he was sick. But uh, uh, I met him in 2004 in Montreux 
and uh, then we got to hang a little bit, and I got to go to the house a few times and 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 see him live, and then hang a little bit again. But I I can only say that in my personal uh situation he was just a very humble very nice person and when i every time i tried to say something to him to express how honored i am he would just say Shh, you know <laughs> so well, we're honored to have you here robbie thanks so much for making the trek i know it wasn't easy especially today at heavy travel day and getting held up at the border and all those things but <laughs> couldn't tell by the bandstand thank you so much thanks for having me